What's going on you guys? So today I want to talk about civil engineering, what they do, and if it is a good major to choose to go to college for. So for those of you that don't know, my name's JJ and I graduated in 2014 from Missouri S&T with a degree in civil engineering. I had a job about a semester before I graduated college um, set up to be a structural engineer slash transmission line engineer. So what I did is I worked with uh, utility companies to help design, fix, and uh, reroute um, transmission lines. And those are the high voltage, you know, big towers that you see going along your uh, when you're on the highway. Now I wanted to make this video for anyone out there that's thinking about going into civil engineering. My personal opinions on it, you know, what you can expect out of it, and just kind of give you a better heads up um, of what you're going to be encou encountering. Uh, in the next few years if you go to college for civil engineering. Now first I want to talk about what civil engineers do. So when you're driving down the highway, everything you see that is man-made, civil engineers had probably had a hand in designing it. You have your roads, you have your buildings, you have your transmission slash power lines. Everything that you see pretty much driving down the highway Civil engineers have a hand in the designing process. Now to break down civil engineering as a whole, I would say there's six emphasis areas within civil engineering. The first emphasis area in civil engineering is construction engineering. Now this would pretty much be you go work for a general contractor or you go work for maybe an engineering firm that has a construction side and you'll be doing project management, you'll be tracking and running schedules, You'll be, you know, get re receiving bids from um, the subcontractors that you send RFPs out for, requests for proposals. It's a, it's a great job. It's actually the main reason why I got into civil engineering is because I wanted to get into the construction world. Now the downfall with this part is typically there is a lot of travel. You have long hours. And that's if you're working for a larger company. Now, if you're with a more small niche company uh, and, a, and a, that kind of just works out of a small area or maybe a couple cities, you won't really have to travel as much. You may have to make a couple field visits every now and then, which is actually, I think, pretty fun. So that's, uh, that's one area in civil engineering. The second emphasis area is environmental engineering. And environmental engineers, they really just help you know, solve environmental problems. They're helping to improve recycling, waste disposal, and water and air pollution control, and a many other things that has to do with the environment. The third emphasis on civil engineering is geotechnical engineers, and geotechnical engineers focus on soil. Their main purpose is, you know, if you're going out to build a building, or if you're going out to rerun transmission lines, foundations need to be put in the ground to hold that structure up. So geotech engineers, what they'll do is they'll go out, they'll test the soils, and they'll give the geotech report to the engineer, the structural engineer, and then they can kind of determine, you know, how, st how strong the concrete needs to be and what type of foundation needs to be used to hold up that structure. The fourth emphasis area is structural engineering. And again, like I said, this is what I did when I worked at my old job. Structural engineers, they do a lot of different things. You know, you can work with bridges, um, you can work with, uh, like I said, like I did, working on transmission lines. Uh, you can work on buildings. So what your main job is, you want to, whatever you're building, you need to make sure that it can structurally withstand the loads that are going to be applied to that structure. The fifth emphasis area is transportation engineering, and this deals all with your highways, intersections, you know, dealing with traffic, how to with how to minimize traffic. So this is a lot of design. You're working with you know your state highway uh, department. You know you're trying maybe you're doing some uh, fix-ups of roads. You're expanding highways. You're adding new intersections. You're adding roundabouts and you do a lot of traffic studies and stuff like that. The sixth emphasis area in civil engineering is what is called water resources engineering. Now what water resource engineers do is they work with floods, uh, they read flood levels of you know 50 year, 50 year floodplains, 100 year floodplains. They help work with and design water treatment facilities and they also work with wells and a lot of other things also. So in a nutshell, civil engineering is, you know, it's mostly a lot of design work. Uh, unless you're in that construction, construction atmosphere and you're gonna be, you know, doing some field visits. 
but most of civil engineering is design work. You know, you're working with computer systems uh, or computer software to help design something that you're, you're you know, you're working on. Like rather that be a dam, a bridge, a road, a transmission line, a building. You know, it's a lot of sitting at your desk on the computer, you know, having meetings with your client to see what they're wanting or the owner to see exactly what they're wanting. And then you design that for them. And then you were also, or be, you might be working with architects if you're on more of like a building or uh, some type of that aspect. But it's really just a lot of inside the office work, you know, on the computer, cranking out designs. So now for the next part. Is civil engineering a good major? Now, how I want to do this is I'm just going to give a couple pros and cons. Now, when someone always asks me, do you want the bad news first or the good news first? I always love to find out the bad news first because that way after that, it's nothing but good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to list the cons first for civil engineering. And then again, these are all just personal opinions. You know, this is something that if, uh, you know, I would have liked to have heard whenever I was looking to, you know, figure out exactly what type of engineering that I wanted to go into. So to start off with the first con is civil engineering is a, just like any other engineering major is, it's pretty hard. Uh, you know, you got a lot of time that you have to sit down and, you know, go in your computer room or be at your home. And, you know, there's a lot of time going into studying for exams. Uh, there is a lot of time in your classes that have labs. Uh, you know, there's there's sometimes where the labs take longer than how long you have to study for because there's so much work that goes into these labs that you put together. I mean, I remember a couple of my labs ended up being, you know, over 50 pages long of just data and, you know, writing out information of what we learned or, you know, what was done during testing and what we found out from our data. So that first is it's, it's a very tough major and I see a lot of people actually that drop out. Um, during the process of going through civil engineering. Not everyone makes it. Now this one is a more personal opinion. Uh, you know, civil engineering isn't the most exciting job. Uh, you know, what you expect when you're like a freshman or getting ready to go into college versus what you actually do out in the real world is it's not exactly what you're thinking about. Um, you know, you're not out in the field every day, you know, looking, oh yeah, that looks really cool. Oh yeah, you know, you see all in the pictures of the guys like, pointing at the drawing and he's looking up and doing this and like, I mean that happens, but it, it doesn't happen that much unless you're in that construction atmosphere. Usually you're at your desk, you'll have a couple meetings throughout the day and you're basically working with a computer software program that helps you design this building that, you know, it reads your loads or it tells you, you know, if you're doing it correctly or, you know, how much this uh, structure can, you know, uh, withstand before it pretty much collapses. Another con of civil engineering is, you know, it can be a very stressful job. You know, if you got a deadline coming up, you know, you're going to be expected to get that, you know, that submittal out or that design out to get, you know, to the owner or to get to your, you know, upper management to go over. Uh, so sometimes it can be pretty stressful. And this is another con that I have is, you know, you have to work overtime every now and then. Now, this may not be for every civil engineering job. Uh, again, like I said, these are just my opinions and what I experienced. Uh, you may have to do some overtime uh, to meet those deadlines. Uh, I haven't really had to work too many weekends. That doesn't really happen, but you may have to work some overtime, you know, during the week. And I've also heard this from my other friends who are in different areas and different aspects of civil engineering once they graduated from college. Another con that you don't, I mean, you, you, you think you know about, and this may just been me, but you literally are problem solving all the time. And now I know some people may be like, well, that's what engineers do. They solve problems. You're exactly right. And I think that's one of the reasons why I was just so mentally drained at the end of the day is because there's always something wrong with a project. And if you're working on multiple projects at a time, maybe you got a deadline coming up for one project. And then your other project, you get a call from the from the uh, construction guys and they're saying, hey, we got a problem, I need you to check this out. Can this be this way? And can you fix this structure to make it you know, five feet to the right? Will it still hold up? And so you gotta go in and you gotta redo everything. You gotta test, you know, gotta move this one wall or you're gonna move this structure you know, over five feet. Then you gotta run all your tests again. You gotta make sure you get all your reports correct. And then you can say, yes, no, maybe, let me go back and do some more research. So there's just a lot of problems, you know, that uh, that can come up and it's just every day there's a problem that you have to solve. And that's something that I want you guys to understand if you're thinking about becoming engineers is, you know, it's not all 
taking your Legos and building blocks and be like, oh wow, that looks cool. No, there is a lot of problems with you know, the projects you're working on and it's gonna take a lot of time for you to fix those. That's it with the cons. Let's start with some pros and get some good stuff in here. The first pro of civil engineering is, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good paying job. When I got my job in 2014, I got a starting salary of around $62,000, $63,000. That also, you know, I got good benefits. I got a matching in my 401k. So it's definitely a, a good job to get into, you know, exactly, especially right out of college. You know, you're getting paid a pretty high salary compared to probably what most of your peers are going to be getting paid for a starting salary that aren't engineers. Um, so that is a bonus right there is, you know, the salary that you get paid. Another pro is it's good job security. Um, most of the time there's going to be, you know, projects going on. There's always going to be something open or available. Uh, you know, maybe during a recession, it may get a little tight. You may run out of some work, um, but there's not it's not a huge, you know, worrisome job of, you know, getting laid off unless you just, you know, do something wrong and, and totally mess up. Um, but no, it's, it's good job security. Um, another pro is it's rewarding work. You know, once you do get that first project done or you get a few projects done and you submit it and then you start seeing the construction process going, I will say it is pretty cool to know that you had a hand in designing that building or that structure, whatever, you know, whatever it is that the, that you're designing at the time, it's cool to be able to watch it, you know, come up and be designed or be constructed. And once it's completed to know that you had a helping hand in doing that. So that is pretty cool about the job. Another pro about civil engineering is the on-site field visits. I kind of talked about this a little bit. So sometimes during a designing process you may go look at a field site um, to see what maybe you need to uh, what, what, what uh, obstacles you're gonna occur or maybe what type of stuff that you can outlook to the, to the future that may cause you some problems or maybe you're going during construction and there's a problem that you have to look at and kind of analyze and see how you're gonna be able to fix that back at the office so that's kind of a cool aspect of the job you know you, you get out of the office every now and then um, it doesn't happen that often uh, but then whenever it does, it's pretty cool to you know get out of the office a little bit and go see the uh, the actual field um, visit or go see the actual construction site. So to sum this all up, overall, I think civil engineering is a good major for the right person. Um, I am no longer a civil engineer. I'm in the construction industry, and my civil engineering. Uh, major helped me get the job I have now. I'm a project manager for a uh, construction company, so I'm doing a lot of just bidding and estimating work. Um, but I'm glad I had my civil engineering major because having that major on your resume definitely helps you in the future. And as you get older, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you're an engineer, you can probably learn a lot to do a different things. So that helps you a lot with your resume. You know, it, it, if you end up going somewhere else along the line and doing a career change, you know, down the future, um, it's, it looks good to have that on there. Um, another thing is, you know, it, it's, it's a good paying job, you know, it's stressful. Um, but like I said, it's for the right person. Like if you love solving problems all the time and you're pretty smart, then I think civil engineering would be great for you. Um, for me, it's just not something that I wanted to do the rest of my life. I didn't want to sit at a desk, you know, all day working on someone else's time. I wanted to focus more on actually spending more time with my family. So I found a job that was a little less stressful. I could focus a little bit more of my other side projects on because my goal is to simply be able to work for myself in the future. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, any of you guys out there that were maybe searching you know, about civil engineering, if this is something you should go for, I hope this helped you make your decision. Um, if you guys have any questions about civil engineering or my experience that I had, you know, going through college or working in the real life, feel free to leave me a question down in the comment section below. Um, I hope, like again, like I said, I hope that you guys got something out of this. But until next time, you guys take care. I